Here's a look into our new Aerospace Academy. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC. Oh, and we are filming for our new Aerospace Academy. The Academy is gonna drop in a couple of months and it is going to be incredible. But you know what? I was actually watching these guys film and I thought, you know, why not just turn on a camera and show you guys some of the things that we're doing. All right, so check this out. I got Billy Scanlon on camera, one of the nicest, most talented guys you ever meet in this industry and in any industries making it happen every day. That's right. And what are you filming today? We're doing the uh, ISO grid and uh, Travis is over here inspecting it to perfection. To perfection, we love perfection. We're striving for perfection, all right? But you know, within tolerance, but gotta, gotta hit it, gotta hit those numbers, okay? Always within tolerance. Always within tolerance. A lot of you guys already know, this is Travis, our quality manager. How you doing, guys? What's up, brother? What's up, man? How you doing? You're yeah. killing it, man. Yeah, so check this out. Stuart is on the machine back here. He's on the VF6SS because it has a big table and we're creating an aerospace ISO grid. It's an ISO grid very similar to the parts that we've made for many different aerospace companies. And now we're just teaching the process. And that's really the difference right there with the Aerospace Academy. We're gonna take projects and we're gonna go through the process. And one project might have 16 different videos, but they're shorter, kind of like chapters. And we're gonna explain the entire process. Right now we're doing a pre-op for the first operation. And this pre-op is gonna basically make the material flat, parallel, and it's gonna put some tooling holes which we will then take the material and go to op B, which is on the DMU-50, the DMG mooring machine, and we're gonna flip it over on a fixture plate. We're also creating, finish it complete, and teach you the whole process through different chapters. Now, what I'm even more excited about and that I left out in talking about the process is that after every operation, we're gonna show you the inspection so that we can ensure that our part meets print spec, all right? And that's exactly what we're doing right here. Travis is on our new MyStar that we brought in for the Aerospace Academy. Stuart is machining right there. Travis is checking his part right here. Stuart is actually clamping the part in a way that ensures that we don't go over one thousandths flatness during the machining process. So Travis, what exactly are you doing here? So we're checking the parts that we're getting from Stuart. Over here, we have the whole pattern that's gonna be for the tooling, right? So we're checking that position. I think the most important thing we're checking though is the flatness, right? So Stuart clamped onto the part in these two locations right here. And so you expect to see a little bit of dip in the middle. We took, I wanna say, man, like uh, about 200 points on this part actually. And so if you look right here, we have this amazing graphical display where you can see his clamps on either side right here. So you got some high points, it dips down right there, and then you got some more high points right there. The flatness is, well, he's a little over a thou, but 30 millionths over a thou. So, okay. I, so I, he's about a thou, a thou right? Yeah. And, and that's one of the cool things is we're, we're talking about technique, okay? A lot of people can go and they can get pre-ground plate that is parallel, but a lot of times we see that Although it's parallel, if you sit it in a freestanding position, it might be parallel perfect, but it doesn't sit perfect, okay? So we're teaching in the pre-op how to take a piece of material that comes standard, that's 16,000 off, lay it flat, put an indicator on it, zero it out, and actually put clamps in and just barely clamp it so that the center raises up no more than one thousandths, which we've calculated is okay for the first stop. The part's gonna also move in the second op, but together we're gonna have success. This yeah. is like a crazy machine right here. Yeah, no, I love it. I love the graphical representation, right? You know, yeah. I mean, it's one thing to say, okay, hey, I took 200 points, we got one thou flatness, but right here, you can see exactly what's going on with the surface of this part, and I yeah. find that to be super impressive. To me, it looks like it's it's like more than one thousandths, but the numbers don't lie, right? So it's about one thousandths and what, 30 millionths? And 30 millionths. Okay, 30 millionths. And uh, it's a beast. And why is it on our floor? Because it's a new CMM from Michitoyo 
that is made and created for harsh environments. So basically you can rain down chips and coolant. Let's not do and that. And it's still gonna be okay, all right? Because it's made for industrial use. And it is insane, all right? Travis, thank you so much. Yeah, of course, man. Boom. Just a sneak peek behind the scenes so you guys know we're actually working. The videos aren't coming out for a few months, right? But it's gonna be insane, so check this out. More parts, 0 .001, inspecting them. We don't even want a slight scratch on them. We want them perfect, right? And then I got my boy, Stuart. Stuart, what's up, man? Hey, man. How are you? What's up? What's up? Ah, so Stuart, you're actually doing the last plate for the isogrid. Yeah, doing it right now. Boom, coming out good? Yeah, it's coming out perfect. That's awesome. So let me say, this operation, you're basically putting an indicator on it, you're squeezing it very lightly, you're skimming it. It starts out as raw material, 16,000 basic flatness. Yeah. So we just skim it, bring it into a total flatness of a thousandths. We flip it over, bring it parallel, put the tooling holes. And then we're gonna use the same setup because we're using the same clamps to actually machine the fixture plate. So this is Mike 6, it's two inches thick. And we're gonna teach you the process of creating the plate. And then we're gonna take it and drop it into the Shunk Barrel S pallet system, lock it down, finish machine the second side. And then the pre-op parts that we're working on now are gonna go onto that fixture. There's gonna be a bunch of ID expansion clamps that grab a hold of it. And then we're going to machine the part complete, flip it on the trunnion, do side holes, and show the entire process. All right? The Aerospace Academy coming to Titans of CNC, teaching Inconel, Monel, crazy parts, exactly how to do it. It's free for all of you guys to take this trade to another level. Thank you, Stuart, for making it happen. Boom. And to all of you out there, thank you so much for the support. And to our partners who allow us to give free education to the world. We would not be here without you. Thank you so much. We are out.